Hi, and welcome back to what currently is a very spooky Finders, Beepers, History Seekers. Look behind me, it's the big man. So I am having to walk. I'm like, I've parked up behind me. You can hear a car in the distance. I had to park up there and I've got a long walk through the fields. But the problem is to get to the fields, I've got to go through this. Look where I am. This is quite spooky. There's, there's little lights flashing everywhere as well. Seems to be a thing to put them on graves. Little flashy lights. There's loads over there, look. Absolutely loads. And then some really old looking graves down this bit as well. Some newer ones. There is some newer ones. But some quite old ones as well. So I'm going to head down this direction through this graveyard and over the other side over the wall at the end and off into the fields now obviously this is what you want to be doing at midnight on your first night in Ireland <sighs> this is ridiculous Matthew ridiculous like I saying there was there is some newer looking graves up there but there's some very old looking graves I can't even I tried to see if I could see any writing on either side of this. Oh, there is. There is. You just can only see it at certain angles, look. I can't even see a date on it. Oh, 1809, I think it says. It's very hard to read. Very hard to read. And I don't know what's going on here. Right. It's looking like they've resealed somebody in there. And I don't know what that metal bit is. In the middle. I don't know if they've stuck somebody else in it. But look, they've moved all the big stones. But yeah, there's some big, big old graves. And like I said, the road is just at the other side of there. You see the lights shining. So my car's that way. And there is houses. Well, there's a house there. And one over there. But then in the direction I'm going, this way... There is absolutely nothing. And I've got to head down the path and over the fields. And that's my breath, not some weird ghost. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to the house I'm going to. Right, I've come through the fields and I'm at what I think is the gatehouse. I don't think somebody lives here. I'm hoping they don't. Otherwise we could give them a scare. But we'll walk past this and up the drive. So this is where I am. I don't think, God, look at them chains. They're massive chains. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody lives here, to be fair. So yeah, look, these are the big gates and the gatehouse. And we're heading up the big long drive. This gatehouse is pretty cool, to be fair. But yeah, let's head off in this direction. I've got still quite a long walk yet. So yeah, I don't think there's any way in that. So we just need to head off in this direction. Now to say I'm creeped out is an understatement because I am literally, it's pitch black. Pitch black where we are. We're nowhere near anything. And currently I can't actually see where I'm walking because I'm shining a torch in my face, but the stars are out. There's owls and weird noises all over. I'll see if I can see, you can see the stars, but I doubt you will. Oh, to be fair, you, you sort of can. I don't know whether you'll end up seeing this properly when we fully edit it, but I can see millions of stars. But on the camera, I can see maybe a few bright ones. But you can see what I mean, it's... It's a, it's a beautiful night, to be fair. It's quite cold, though. Right, I just want you to look. There is nothing anywhere. You know, you can see it anyway, because it's dark. Let me take the torch away. There's light over... I think that might be Galway in the distance over there. I don't know what that glow is over there. You're probably not going to see any of this. I can see it at the moment. It's so dark. You 
You can't see that glow with your naked eye. It's the phone picks it up. But it is so, so dark. And it's starting to rain and it's freezing. Some weird noises. Sounded like a donkey. Anyway, I'm over halfway there now. Well, along this track anyway, I'm more than halfway there in total. I can hear water. I know there's a big lake not far from here. So I'm guessing we're near that and there's maybe a river running out of it. And it what looks to be maybe a bridge just up here. So let's have a look. We've got a cattle grid. Oh no, it's not even a cattle grid. It's just a gate that's fallen over. Um, but I'm guessing this is at the end of the, the lake or the dam. I'm presuming that's over the other side of here because it should be on our right. Oh, that doesn't look like a lake. I'm guessing it's a bit further up. But I can definitely hear running water. It's all very grand, this, isn't it? Yeah, listen down there. It's definitely a river down there. But I do like this. It's like a really long walled bridge. Almost like defences to get to the big house further up here. Which isn't too far away now. Maybe another 10 minutes walking. Oh yeah. You can see it's water now, look. Right, let's keep going. Right, I was getting worried because there's a little light over there and there's a bigger light over there. And then I realized through the fog or the darkness is the house that we're going to. It's right in front of us. So, I'm just going to turn this torch off and make my way up. Look at this place now, before we go any further. That's security cameras. Right in front of us there. There's a loudspeaker thing on it as well. Oh, I've not been told of a particular way to get in this place either. Now both those cameras are pointing the opposite direction at the moment. But as soon as I go over that fence, they're going to see me. And that were a long walk to be caught straight away. So what do I do? I'm not sure. The thing is, if there's one here, there's definitely going to be one around the other side. And I need to get in this place. Look at it. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I honestly don't know what to do. I feel like I'm out of range of the camera just. But if I... There's one pointing off to the right and one pointing off to the left. So if I go one way, I'm going to be seen. If I go the other way, I'm going to be seen. So do I just make a run for it and go straight into the middle? Or do I head off across the field to my left? And then hopefully I'm out of sight of the cameras. I just don't know. I don't know at all. Right, I think I've decided I'm going to scoot under this fence here. It's not an electric fence because I'd hear it clicking. So I'm going to go under there and walk quite wide across there and try and come in at the opposite corner. But I have a feeling there'll be another one up there. I heard something then. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to do that anyway. Right, I've come to the centre because there's a camera there. You can just see it shining. That's what I could see a minute ago. There's a camera there, you can see the red light. Now the good thing is, when you're looking through a camera, you can see it. If I was just looking at it with my eyes, you wouldn't see the red light. You can only see it through a camera, which is good because I'm always using mine. So I'm just gonna try and get straight over this middle bit and get in. Right, I've come right across the middle there and look where I am. Look at this place. It is unbelievable. Now I heard a bang a minute ago. I don't know if somebody's in here already. Or what. But I'm sure I heard like one of the panels banging inside. And I'm not trying to scare you like ghosty ghosties. I'm literally just saying. I heard a noise. I thought I did then as well. I don't know if it's my own voice echoing. Anyway, 
could show you how to get in this place. I don't normally show you how to get in places, but this one's so obvious. So I'm gonna show you. Oh Lord. I've heard some of the features in this place are unbelievable. I don't know if you can get down there as well, look. Look at this. Oh, it's just down to the cellars, but that's good because I do like a good cellar. That light's come on now over there. We better get in quick before we get ourselves in big trouble. What? Content is for everything. <laughs> what a random thing to find here. Anyway, I'm going in. So I'm in. And wow, even though this room is empty, it's not empty, because the ceiling is unbelievable. Look at this. You know I get over excited about things like that. God, it's a bit dodgy in here, isn't it? You know I get excited about stuff like that. Ooh, secret door. But look at this. Look at the seal. Look at that. Wow, look at that. So I'm guessing that's, that's not even the, that's not the entrance, is it? That's windows. That's shuttered windows. That's, it's only because I saw that door in the middle, it confused me a little bit. But look at it in here. Imagine the big chandelier hanging from that down into this room. It's almost like pink, isn't it, that? And then you've got a big roaring fire. And I don't know why that's there. I don't know if there was two fireplaces. Look, these are all the old shutters and doors and stuff. And then some new wood as well, like they looked like they were gonna do it up. Yeah, look, that's new wood in the floor there. It looks like there's been a fire. But how weird is that little door? That's really, really, really strange. And then that big fireplace. Wow, I just can't get over that. That is so good. Imagine that on a summer's day. All the shutters open. Looking out across the fields of Ireland. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm blown away by this place. I've only seen this one room. I just, oh, it's just great, isn't it? It's so good. And these places just get left and go to nothing. It's such a shame. At least there is security cameras, not that they're doing anything, but there is security cameras outside, which hopefully means it's not gonna get burnt down or something. But anyway, let's, uh, let's keep looking round. We've only seen one room. Right, I think the main entrance is that way. So I'm gonna go the opposite way and make our way round. This room here is huge. Oh my Lord. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm not so sure about that ceiling or the floor upstairs. Oh, look at this. I'm hoping they're trying to, oh, it's been a fire look. Oh, me saying, oh, at least there's not going to be a fire. And then it's burnt up there. But, hopefully, it means they're going to do some work on this place and get it sorted out. Or, it's just all fallen down and they've just put it on there. I don't know. I wonder what this alcove bit was for here. It's like set back from the rest of the room. Now, I'm not going to lie. With this being such a big place... I'm a bit freaked out because I can hear all the echoes and I feel like anyone could be hiding anywhere. I've just noticed this though, look at these. Those weights there are for the shutters. So there probably would have been something somewhere, not quite sure where, where you'd have wound them and the weights would have dropped and the shutters would have opened, but it's all been sealed up now, look. There's a massive pile of plaster on the floor. And I have got to be careful, because look up there. That is, that is like death waiting to happen right there. But I'm still going upstairs, obviously. But look at this fireplace. This is, this is weird. Is it, oh, it's, yeah, it's stone. Now, most people say it's marble, but I don't think that's what it would be classed as, unless it's a certain sort of marble. But it could be like, I don't know. I don't know my stones, but it, it could be a certain sort of stone. But look at that fire. It's almost like a, 
it's like a boiler rather than a normal fire. Don't really get that. Why would you have that in your main room? Although this is a hell of a room to heat, isn't it? Imagine heating this room. Jesus Christ, I'm bad enough in a terraced house. My little tiny terraced house. And I'm, it costs a fortune to heat that up. So what's it gonna cost in here? Once again though, look at this. It's like, oh God, this floor. Oh look, there's more bits of, oh, it's such a shame, isn't it? Because that's hundreds of years old. Just fallen from up there. It's slate up there. Did they used to put slate under the floors? I didn't know that. But this, don't you think this is weird? Do you think you'd have had like a big vase or statue or something in here? Oh, look at all the, all the flies up there. Don't know if you'll see them, but there's loads of flies. But look at it, it's just, it's mad. And what is this? What is, what is this? What's that from? Am I looking at it the wrong way? Should it be this way? I don't know. I honestly don't know what that is. That is really strange. Now I am sorry, because I actually don't know much history about this place at all. I was given this one right at the last second as I was about to get on the aeroplane to come over here. And it's one that I really wanted to do when I saw the photos, but I've not been given any history at all on it. I don't know anything about it. So I'm gonna try and Google it while I'm walking around, but I am pretty sure the internet's not gonna work. If it doesn't, the recap. So I don't know if you, any everybody watches it, but on a Thursday, I usually do a recap so we look back at the video and say, like, talk about stuff. So I'll look at your comments and talk about what you're talking about. But also I'll try and find a bit of history about things that I didn't find before, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'll give you as much info as I can once I find out. Right, so there's some noises coming from the further up in the building. It sounds like somebody walking about but it could just be water dripping. I've been stood here listening for a bit and I keep hearing it. It's freaky when you're on your own. I can hear something now. Now, I've just been reading about this place and apparently it's haunted. Now, I know a lot of you will be like, oh, no, it's not. But that's what I've read. But also, there is some really dark history about this place. And I'll tell you about that when I've found out if there's somebody up here. Now, I don't know if it's just water dripping. Or if I'm about to be clubbed over the head. You've got to remember these places are really old, really creaky. I can feel a draft in here. Listen. Can you hear that? feel a draft so I'm just thinking is it water Be water dripping, but I've just looked up here. Look up there. How creepy does this look? Right, 
we're going down here. Face my fears, head downstairs. It's where I can hear the noises. It's all a bit, a bit creepy, a bit spooky. Into the cellars. Not gonna lie. Even I think I'm brave at this point. <laughs> like, it, it's scary, not only. Where is that noise coming from? Was it only doing it when I was down there? It's gotta be water. Let's go along here and see if it's in here. I think it is, I think it's water. Oh my God, that scared me. I've gotta be careful, because look at all the wood. That's bedoying down from up there. I think there must be water coming through the roof up there and it's coming down, but it's making it very, very loud, weren't it? And very irregular patterns. Look at this little room here. It's a weird little sink, isn't it? Is it lead lined in its look? Yeah, but that were good for you, drinking out of that, weren't it? Lead lined sink. Don't like it in here because I feel like I'm going to be trapped in in a second. But what a weird little room it is. It's like an oval shape. Well, not oval, but rounded at the top. A little cupboard. It is, it's water, listen. Must be what it was. God, it says demolition in progress there. Right. We'll go back the way we were going a second ago. And try not to be freaked out as much this time. Like, you've got to understand why I'm freaked out sometimes. Like I said, it's just a bit hard being on your own in these places. In the middle of nowhere. And you start hearing noises like that. And it sounds like little... Footprints, or footmark, footsteps, footsteps. Right, down to the cellar. In fact, before we go to the cellar, let's look at this room that we sort of ran through. Look at that. It's these pillars as well. Look at the massive pillars there. Holding it up. Are they stone? Are they actually stone? Oh, they're like plaster. It's like pla coloured plaster. But wow, such an amazing place. The work on these ceilings are crazy good. Right, down to the dreaded cellars. The thing I don't understand is when I was coming down here, the noise was really loud. But then when I was up there a minute ago, stood right next to where it was, it wasn't loud at all. So I don't make sense that. Anyway. Talking about lead. Look at that for a big fat lead pipe. That's huge. Right, down the creepy stairs into the creepy cellar. Don't know what's down. Is that a toilet? It's a very weird looking little toilet. Oh. Oh, is that, that's where I can feel the breeze from. That's probably where we were looking down a minute ago. Oh no, that, I don't know where that goes. That's not the same place we were. Oh, look at this. I don't think it is a toilet. I think it's one of these sluice things where they used to come and wash stuff out. But it's hidden away in the corner. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you 
supposed to open this door. Maybe you're not. Not a great, oh, I think the toilet was in there. Oh, the toilet still is in there. Around that corner, look. There's flies on everything. Absolutely everything. Oh. That's like 16th century dress hanging up. Right, I'll tell you a bit of history. So this place was built in the 1760s, so it is really old. And the owners were horrible. And I mean horrible. It's very similar to the Highland Clearances. They kicked everybody off the land so they could graze sheep and everything on there. And then there was a bit of an uprising and they came to try and kick their heads in and get them out of the land. And loads of people were killed and there were skirmishes and all sorts. But this place, apparently, the one of the young women that lived here was killed and she apparently walks the halls. It's all a bit freaky. Maybe that's her dress. Maybe that's where she died in this corner. Now there is a bit more history to it as well. And I will go through that in a bit, but I don't want to sit and give you a big history lesson. Look at the floor. So they used to use stuff like that. I don't know if it's, it might be horse hair. But they used to use things like that in the floor for insulation. Now, I've got to be careful here. God, this floor is screwed. I don't think there's much. There's not much in here to show you anyway. I don't think. I don't know what that is around that corner. Oh, God, look at look how bendy all this is. How much that's moving. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, it's a little bed. It's a weird little bed, that. I've got to get over there now to see the weird bed. Right, I managed to brave it and get across it. But what a weird little... I don't know if it's even a bed. It's not a bed, is it? Is it like a... It's not a chaise lounge, Is it? Maybe? I don't know, but look at the... Look at the feet on it. And then it would have had really nice material over the top. Just think who's laid on that in the past. Now, something else about this place. There was 200 families lived on this estate at one point. I think it was, what was it? I can't remember, 150 acres, 115 acres, something like that. And anyway, there was 200 families lived on this estate. And then in, and that was in the early 1800s. By 1901, there was 14 servants and the family, and that is it. Nobody else lived here in the whole estate. That's crazy. Now you've got to think at the beginning of the 1900s, there was a lot of tension in Ireland anyway. What with the, oh God, how do I get back across here now? I'm going to have to stand on the floor, aren't I? But yeah, what with the tension with the British and the impending war, that came about, the Civil War. Yeah, it was, uh, it was very dodgy. So I don't think I'd want to have been someone with money around that sort of time. So you didn't stand much of a chance. Look at it in here. I, I've said it before. I know I'm a weirdo for doing it, but I paint a picture in my head of what it was like down here and what it would have been like for the servants running round doing all their little jobs. Why is the to there's just toilets everywhere. There's like hidden toilets just hiding. Hidden toilets hiding, you know what I mean? But yeah, just what was their life like? Was it horrendous? Because if he was such a mean guy, you'd think it would be an awful place. All the young girls that came and worked here for the rich Lord, and probably, you know what I'm gonna say, but you just, you just think it must have been terrible. What an awful life. But probably a lot better than some other people that lived around here. At least you actually had a job. Oh, this goes on forever and ever. What's it like? I'm not going, I was going to show you up here. I'm not going up those stairs, I don't think. Probably not a good idea. And it's probably not a good idea to go in here either. Because I feel like it's all going to come down on my head. But I've got to. Because this almost feels like a safe. 
Or is it an old fridge unit? Yeah, you can hear the water dripping down in there, look. It's all a bit odd, that, isn't it? It's got very heavy metal doors. Really robust. But then, weird little shelves in there. I don't know if it was a safe or something totally different. Why would they have the safe in the cellar, though? And look, lead-lined shelves. All a bit odd. All a bit odd. Right, let's keep going. Now, it seems a little bit more solid up here. It's this bit that's all a bit dodgy. Like the ceiling's been held up and everything. But up here, it don't feel quite as bad. But there is, like I said, there's some big old rooms down here. What's this lot? There's all sorts of, all sorts down here, look. I don't even know what half this stuff is. Like parts of furniture I sort of get, but I don't, I have no idea what that is. I think that's a tire, I know what that is. They look like they potentially come off fireplaces, like the little hearth bit. And then there's some old cupboards and then some more machinery type stuff that I don't know what it is, I've got no clue. Probably from air filtration and pumps and stuff. I don't get things like that. Oh, this room leads on to somewhere else there. I'm not gonna lie, even though I know that there's water dripping, I still keep hearing what sounds like running feet, walking feet. It's horrible. I like it, but it's horrible at the same time. I've just spat all over, but it is. It's scary and the echoes are even worse. Standing in this doorway and talking, my voice reverberates around this room. This is very echoey and weird. Oh, it's cobbled the floor in here as well. Very different sort of room in here. A window in that corner and all these shelves. Maybe, I don't know, I was gonna say for laundry, but I don't really know. And then off back up in this direction through this door. Now, I know it's a lot of empty little rooms and I know you might not appreciate it, but I do, I do, I love it. I love the feeling in here. And I know you can't get that in a video, really. I know when you're watching it, it doesn't feel quite the same. But I just hope the way I talk about it helps you feel how I'm feeling because I don't know, I, I just, I want you to feel the way I'm feeling. Yeah, I know you can't because you can't be this scared, but no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Right, so I was telling you about the flies. Look, and they're like mosquitoes or something, these look. Well, I don't know if they are. Or are they? I think they are actually. Yeah, they are. Millions and millions and millions of mosquitoes all over the roof, all over everything. Oh, that's just made me notice that as well there, look. Look at the bell, that's for the uh, servants' bells. So that comes down from a room up above, that comes from somewhere else and it all leads across. So we might find the servant bells in a minute, but I need to get out of this room before I get AIDS or something. But I don't think I can get this way because I'm not climbing through that. I'll just walk back round again. I don't know what that is either. That's all a bit odd, isn't it? Weird thing. Right, back through the echoey room. Right, so I've just come back through the room where there was all that stuff. I didn't know what it was. I noticed even more of these, look. They're everywhere all the way around from different rooms for different people. Oh, that's an old padlock, isn't it, that one? So we'll head back down the way we were going and we might find the servants' bells, you never know. Look at the ceilings. Look at that, it's almost like, it makes me think of like a French chapel or something, that. Same in here, look. Oh God, with more mosquitoes. But yeah. What is it with, that is a toilet and a half. Look at that toilet. Look at the seat on that. Ooh, look. Scotia Shanks and Co, Victorian Pottery, Barhead. I think I drove through Barhead in Scotland. But look at this seat. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh God, I'm not lifting one of them up again. That were horrendous. <laughs> that were horrendous. That was so bad. All the mosquitoes living underneath there. But look at that. That's really good. It's a real, and it's got a tin. The top of it is tin. Oh, it's mad. Oh, it's a train. I heard a noise outside. I didn't know what it was. It's like a really like low, low groan, making a weird noise. Now, something else about this place. In the 1840s, maybe, they added a train station to this place. It's got loads of outbuildings. It's got a train station um, that the Lord could only use. Um, and also it's got things like big greenhouses and stuff like that as well. Imagine it, it's very much like Dunrobin Castle up in Scotland. That had got its own train like station and Queen Victoria used to come up on it. I wonder who's been here. It just makes me wonder which big name person has been here because there will have been somebody, maybe Queen Victoria, maybe someone else, you just don't know. Now looking down here, that's the door we're the other side of. Don't you think it's a bit like, I know it's not cells, but it makes me think of cells down below. Look at that. Oh, it's like wine cellars, isn't it? What's this? Is that something to do with the thing? But look at these. Oh, this is good. Imagine what they kept in here. Probably wine, but if it wasn't wine, what else? Because it's like a cool storage area, isn't it? Although actually, it feels quite warm in here. It's probably the warmest bit of the building. Oh my God. Look at them all. That's crazy, I like this door though. It's a very nice door. But yeah, it feels very warm and dry in here. But that's probably it, it's probably dry. The rest of the place is probably damp. I often dare myself to stay in places like this overnight by myself. I did it at Coco Chanel's, but that was because I wasn't too far away from everybody else, like my family wasn't that far away. But somewhere like this, I sort of would like to do it. I would. But would I dare? I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day, if you persuade me. I literally just finished saying that, and then there's a bang. Oh, you can see right on my nose. Now there's a sort of bang that came from behind me, but it didn't, it wasn't like in the room behind me. Sounded like either above or outside. Oh Lord. So maybe staying overnight isn't a good idea in somewhere like this. Look at this. Is it a little oven? Yeah, it is. A little old oven. Feel the breeze coming through there. Like I said, now is this where we were? Possibly, oh no. Oh, that's another wall. That's a different wall. It's too far away. I don't know where we are in the building. Look at this. What is happening here? Oh, is this the bell? Oh, God. Is this the bells? What is this? Is it electric switches? Look at those wires that are in there. Oh, it says there, look, top first floor. I can't read what that says. Something floor. I don't know, but I do it's actually buzzing that. Can you hear that? I'm not touching it. Don't worry, I'm not going to touch it. That's making a weird buzzing noise. That's quite disturbing, isn't it? That is mad. Right. <laughs> I'm going to say, shall I turn the light on, but then... I don't, I don't think it'll work somehow. It must be dripping. I, I can hear dun, dun, dun. Sounds like someone on a treadmill. What is in here? I like these doors. I don't know what it is about them with the windows in. Oh, look in here. Oh, wow, what is this? What is this room for? 
Oh, I'd love to know what it were all for. There's another toilet. Why is there so many broken toilets? Or hidden toilets? What is that all about? But yeah, what was this room used for? And what is this little bit here? That looks like the should be like a chimney. Let's have a look. I can't actually see, so you'll be able to see more than me. I don't know if that goes up or not, but it's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh God, they're, ev they're bleeding everywhere. They're all over. But yeah, this looks like it might have come out of something. I don't know. But then why is the cupboard doors with like hessian sacking on it? What's that helping? And is that... Why... Oh, God, move stuff and they just come from everywhere. Why is that got a glass bottom on it? It's a drawer with a glass bottom. Look, it's actually got a lock as well. It's got a little key. But then on the bottom of it, it's, it's, look, it's glass or plastic, is it glass or plastic? No, it's glass. How weird is that? Oh, I don't know what's through there. I don't know if we can get to the other side of that. But what a weird thing that is. Why would he need something with a lock that you can see through the bottom of it? It just don't make sense. And then, once again, all these shelves all the way around the room. And then that's to outside. It's just a bit odd, isn't it? And then that's like a massive ironing board. I don't, I don't actually think it's an ironing board. I think it's another shelf, but it looks like an ironing board. The floors are very different in here as well, because the first bit, it was wooden floors. Then it was cobbled floors. And now it's like big stone slabs which is really good. And look, the bells go up there as well. You see that they run all the way along there. But I don't understand where the bell would ring. Because it's coming up from upstairs, look. You can see the little bits, look. It comes through a little tube up there. But then where would a bell ring? I don't, I don't get it. So anyway, let's keep going. Because this, there's some stairs up there. We can go up those in a bit. Some more freaky stairs. But let's keep going along this cellar. This video is going to be so long because we've been in the cellar and that's about it so far. Oh my Lord, what is happening here? Why is there just a big bird's nest there? Oh, it's suddenly not echoey anymore. Oh, look. There's been a right fire, haven't there? Look at the state of that. Oh, God, it's dangerous in here, isn't it? And then this bit in here as well. I'll try and get through a different door. I'm not climbing over that. Oh, look at all the... Oh, that's all the electric wires running down there, I think. Oh, it's all a bit weird, all a bit... Oh, oh this room's even more higgledy-piggledy, isn't it? I'm guessing this is the... Very damaged bit. I'm not going in there. I'm not walking on that floor because I'm just going to come a cropper. Where, where has that come from? Massive big piece of, piece of burnt wood. I'm guessing it had fallen down here or something. They've just chucked it in there. But, right, let's keep going. I know you're all going to say, you should have somebody with you. We, we worry about you. What would happen to Freddy and your girls if you died? I'm not going to. I'll be fine. Don't worry. But I understand why you're worried. But it is da it's dangerous. I'll be careful. I promise. So this is the room that I didn't want to come through that way to get to. But this is a weird room as well. It's a very odd shaped room. It's got like a skylight at the top up there. Little fire down there. I, I don't know what this is. I genuinely don't know what that would be for. Can't be a fire, I don't think. Then, that's, I think, to clean out the chimneys. Oh, look. 
looks like a chimney there. It's just, it's just an odd room in general. Look at the shape of it. But that looks really weird from outside. But you can see the amount of water that's been in here by how green it is. It's really green. Some cupboards. I wonder what this room was used for as well. And I think the room finished there and it's all collapsed. So that's quite worrying, isn't it, really? Now, I don't know whether to go in this room or not. I sort of want to. There's a massive Belfast sink there, look. And then an old wardrobe. But I want to know what's behind the old wardrobe. But this floor is rotten. No, oh, there's a bed. There's a little bed. Is it a servant's bed, do we think? Look at the little old tiles on there. Oh. Stay on the beans, I should be all right. Look at that. Little old rusty bed. Oh, surely the servants weren't sleeping down here. They usually put them in the top rooms. Out of the way. Not down in the cellar. Now we've come from down there and I thought this was the end. But it carries on round this corner. I don't know how far it carries on. But it carries on round here. And I only noticed because I... There's a little window here. Oh, what's this log? Look at this writing, just a minute. Now, some people have written over the top of it that like some of these aren't that old, I don't think, but some of them are. 25th of May, 15. But the writing on that doesn't look like it'd be 2015. It looks like it's maybe 1915. But I'm not 100% sure, I can't, I can't say that that's right, definitely. But looking at it, I can't read what it says there. I can't, I can't, same with that. I'm not quite sure, but I do like seeing things like that. Because people will be like, oh, it's graffiti, but some people really appreciate it like I do. This was some sort of boiler room log in here. Now, I don't know whether I want to go up these stairs or the others, because I don't want to miss any of the rooms. But I'm a bit lazy as well, so, so I thought I just want to go up here. You can see, I love this. It's something that I really love. The wear on the edges of the steps and where they didn't in, where people have walked in the same spot over and over again. And if you notice, this side is hardly worn, but this side, it didn't in. And that's because the people coming down the stairs will have been holding the banister. So they stood slightly off to this side. And I know it's something really stupid and weird, and probably most people wouldn't notice it, but I do. And I do because I just think that's like people's lives, isn't it? It's people's day-to-day -day lives, walking up these stairs, carrying plates, carrying all sorts, taking them up for the master, and doing it over and over and over again. The handrails that are worn and they all go like a bit shiny because of the sweat on people's hands and the floor that gets worn out because they've walked it over and over again. Look at this as well. Is it saying like, remember? Um, last week, rent something something. That's weird. What a weird thing to write on there. Oh, right. So we're on the floor. I think we were on before now, but we're further up. <gasps> right, for a start, look at the fire damage. Unbelievable fire damage in here. But let's look round this corner. Look at this. Ah! <gasps> I know where we are, I think. Look at these stairs. Look at the ceilings. Look at that. The banister would have finished there and it's been broken. It would go all the way up there. There's a massive bird's nest there. But look at this. We, we have walked in a big circle. We were here, I'm sure we were. I think I said, this is the window I came in. I'm sure it is, yes. We came in there and we walked off in that direction. How we've got right back up here. But look at it in here. What that were on my foot then. Look at it in here. 
this is the the main doors to come in and you'd walk through these oh look they've covered up the tiles as well to save them from being damaged but you'd walk in and see this absolutely amazing and i bet that looked fantastic in that centerpiece up there and you've got all the i want to say neo classical is it neo classical these are a bit like swastikas but swastikas a lot of people don't realize swast the swastika before the germans turned it into what it was was a a good luck symbol it was used by like hindus and all sorts across india and all over i think the romans used it loads of people have used it before it then got turned into something a bit dodgy i can't believe it in here how what a waste of a place they like the ceilings the walls it's just beautiful it's such a shame it's just been left to go to this and obviously based on where we've just come from there's been a huge fire as well so it's only going to go downhill and downhill let's go further through here avoiding this weird ladder that's been tied together oh, look, these more pillars that have Fallen to pieces. Oh, that's strange, isn't it? That's what's inside them. A big piece of wood. And then it's like plaster. Oh, these are like the ones we were looking at earlier on that I said were like plaster. So they've got a big piece of wood inside them. And then some like display cabinets. Oh, that scared me then. I saw a light flashing, but it's mirrors. It's not windows, it's mirrors, I think. If it ain't weren't yeah, it's mirrors look. That scared me. Look at this. Look at the work on this. Oh, that's wonderful. That's so good. Now, a lot of these places, even though they had so much money, they still would do things on the cheap, like those plaster pillars with wood in the middle. You'd think that they were like something amazing like i don't know anything stone that you make these things out of but they did them on the cheap to keep up with their next door neighbors the other big lords and they'd make it look amazing but actually they were cheating a little bit but unless you went and touched the things and maybe broke a bit off you would never know you'd never know that that's what was inside because obviously Things like um, marble costs a fortune. So even the big lords couldn't afford them. Look at this old tin bath. Not very much left of that, is there? Anyway, on into the next room. These doors are huge as well. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my Lord. Look, they've had to put big beams up. Oh, I'm a bit worried in here. Oh, there's not much left to fall down, to be fair. New roof up there. They've replaced a lot of the stuff, so I'm guessing this is where the fire ripped through. There's just such an horrible feeling in here now because it's such a massive open space. It's not like echoey. It just feels like you're outside almost. Oh, there's a door up there, look. A little fireplace up there. You think people used to walk about up there? I wonder what they'd think about it now, seeing it like this. Now, when I was looking at this chipboard, I almost n missed the fact that, look at the work up there, and look, look at this. Hidden away behind it, it's the most wonderful ceiling. Oh, that's not a ceiling, but you know what I mean. Oh, look, the original, or oh, some of the old wallpaper there as well. That's good, isn't it? You usually lose things like that, but there's sometimes some just knocking about here as well, look. Oh, that's been damaged, that bit up there, though. And this doorway, right. Oh, we've got a settee. Oh, it's another one of these, look. I reckon it was was a chaise, chaise lounge then. Looking at that, it's a similar sort of shape, isn't it? So it probably is. I wonder where they're from. I don't think they're that old, those. Maybe, I don't know, early 1900s, 1920s. I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway. 
Oh, wow. I've not even looked up. Look at that. I know, I'm sorry that I'm so passionate about ceilings and fireplaces and stuff, but you just don't see stuff like this anymore, do you? Like, what house do you go into that's been just built and it's like this? And Unless it's somewhere like Venice. It's just not going to look quite like that, is it really? Like, it's, it's just wonderful. Almost as wonderful as this. That's going to smell. I'm back onto, I think, the corridor where it was all burnt a minute ago. Look up there. It's all going to fall through. I've got to be really careful when I'm upstairs. And there'll be a lot of you going, no, don't go upstairs. I can't watch if you go upstairs. Look at that fireplace. That's nice. Nice colour, I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm going upstairs, whether you like it or not. And you're coming with me, unless you're chicken out. And if you're chicken out, that's ridiculous, because I'm here and you're not. Look at that wallpaper. That's not special, is it? Well, it is, but in a weird kind of way. Now, I've just looked out of this window, and I think this is that bit down in the cellar where I said it's a really weird-shaped room. That looks like the little skylight bit that we were looking at. And we're behind bars at the moment, but I'm pretty sure... I can't get it to focus, but I'm pretty sure that's, that is it. Anyway... Let's keep going. Please don't let me fall through there. Yeah, it definitely is, look. That's the skylight bit we were looking at. So, the room's directly below there. And it looked really dodgy, didn't it? <laughs> right next to that. And I'm stood on it at the moment. So does that mean I'm just gonna fall through? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy Lord. Yeah, look. That's the bit that's fallen down and fallen through. Better shift away from the edge. Look at these though, what a shame. What a shame. Right, let's get out of this dodgy bit, shall we? Look at that, it's sort of quite, sort of pretty in a way. I don't really know why, but I, I, I kind of like it. Right, so these are the stairs that we came up and then we turned into this burnt bit and went to the grand entrance. Now, I never noticed this door here. And it's a lift. It's like, what do they call them now? Where they put, I swear I can hear electrics, listen. What is that all about? Yeah, it's, oh, it's, I can't remember what it's called, but the, it's like a little mini lift and they put like things in it and send it up to the main house. And look, it goes right up. Right, right up. But I can definitely hear. Weird, like, almost like computer system down there. I wonder if it's the cameras. I wonder if that's where they power the cameras. And that's what we can hear. I'm not sure. But we'll carry on up these stairs and we'll come back down the main grand stairs in a minute. Right, so we've just gone up about four flights of stairs. I expected just to go up one. But we've gone up quite a long way. So I wonder if these are the servants' stairs and this is gonna take us up to the servants' quarters up there. But before we do that, oh, this is that lift lug. God knows what all this stuff is down here. I don't know if that's an old, an old bottle that looks quite old. I wonder what's underneath that lock, but yeah, look. I'll show you how far we've come. We were right down there, quite a long way down. And it does go up more. So let's see where it takes us, but we'll have a look on this floor first. Ah, look, this is blocked off. And for good reason, because you're not gonna walk that way, are you really? What a shame though, because basically that side of the house now has been lost. You can't go and look round it, you can't see what's in there. And there could be some amazing stuff still in there, but no way of getting to it at all. So let's head this direction instead. 
bleed in there. It doesn't look much better up there. Right. Oh, I know where we are. Look at this. This is the stairs. These are those stairs in the grand entrance. Look at those arches as well. What's he gonna do? It's not gonna kill me, is he? What is he? Yeah, look at this. How amazing is this? I 
I'm sorry I can't be loud now. I just don't know where he is. He literally could be anywhere. But I'm pretty sure he hasn't come in. Because the only way in and out is through that window. If you come through that window, you have to walk across all that wood. If you walk across that wood, it makes lots of noise. It sounds a little bit like in a dark, dark wood. It was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house. It was a dark, dark stairs. I can't remember the rest of it. Now, personally, I think he's a security guard doing his walk round, sticking his head through window, making sure nobody's here but he's probably bladdered and probably don't give a shit. So he's just having a look round. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a psycho killer. You just don't know. Now it looks like they've been doing work in here, look, because it's brand new flooring. And it seems like they're sort of stripping the walls a little bit. So you never know. They might end up doing this place back up. Oh, there's wallpaper there as well. I want to be loud, I want to talk normally. But we don't know where he is. And he's possibly just going to say hello in a minute and scare the shit out of me. Anyway, let's keep walking, keep looking. Like I said, there's a lot of these rooms that aren't even worth looking in. Oh, look at this bath. This bath's good, isn't it? Big roll top bath with the proper feet on them. Now, part of me sort of just wants to get out of here. Gotta be careful near the windows. I don't know if he's stood just outside. Maybe go up that top floor and then get out of here. Now, before we do go up, I just came to this door and it's, it's screwed shut, which is a bit weird. I wonder why they've screwed that one shut out of all the doors in here. What's hiding behind that door? Let's see if there's another way into it. I came and looked out this window to see if I could see him. But there's no torchlight, so unless he's walking around in darkness, I think he's probably gone. Another random toilet. Right, let's go up onto that top level and see if there's anything exciting up there. I still, oh, look at the old glass in that. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's a shame. It's a real shame. It's up there as well, look. I don't know if it's hand-painted that or not. It's good. But I just love this bit. I love these stairs and this ceiling. It's just so good. Talk about rich. A rich family. That's amazing. Right, up we go again. Now I definitely think this is up to the um, servants' quarters because there's a shuttable door on it as well, on the bottom of the stairs, because they'd want to shut the, the servants up there out of the way. They wouldn't have to listen to them and they'd be shut away from the main family in the big bedrooms. But it's all a bit freaky up here. I'm not going to lie, I am sort of rushing round now a little bit because I'm very much on edge. I don't know who this man is. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Nobody knows where I am. Well, one person does. Um, Rachel's not even in this country at the moment. Well, she's not in Ireland. She's not even in the UK at the moment. There's nobody can come and get me. <laughs> so I just need to... Uh, I need to get round this place as quick as I can now. So there must still be at least another floor above us. Oh no, that's the end lock. That's the winch, top of the winch. So, oh no, there is. The stairs there. Hey up, wait a minute, look, look at this. That's where the lamp light used to go. Imagine it sitting in there, lighting the, oh. That to go on the roof, maybe? Or is it just to go into the bit to sort the winch out? 
I'll have a look in a minute, but not the head voices then. But yeah, seeing things like that, you can imagine it by like almost candlelight. Oh look, some more here. Little things written on there. They're not from now. Like that is, you can tell that is. And that's like 13, 4, 14. So that's almost 10 years ago. But these, you can tell the writing of them. That's 1691, I think. That's definitely not right. But it still looks old. It looks old writing. And that 1691 might mean something else. It could be dimensions or anything. Are we in another toilet here? It's a weird little... It's a weird little toilet. What is that little rat run thing for up there? Oh, I'm, hot. I'm a bit freaked out now. It's a bit Blair Witchy. Right. Let's keep going. Oh, this is where we were looking up, look. And I said, oh, it's a bit dodgy there. There's holes in the floor. I feel like this isn't the servant's area, though. It's too good. So this must just be still the main house, look. What is this room? Big fireplace there. Oh, are they, are they windows? Yeah, look. Shutters. So this would have opened. Gotta be careful. Mm. The fly just fell off. No, you can't open it. But gotta be careful because can see a light out there, look. So if I could see that, you can see my light. Right, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Now I know I put myself in this position, but just put yourself in my position for one minute. Like where I am, what I'm doing, what building I'm in at the moment. <laughs> How the hell? Do I get myself into positions like this? Seriously, it's so good though, it's so good. Now, I'm not gonna show you most of these rooms up here, to be fair, because they're all very similar. They've all, all very empty. So it's not really worth it. But what is this all about? Is that? That's a weird balcony. Well, like, thing to stop here. Do you reckon there's glass in that? Yeah, there is, look, it's big chunky glass. So that was obviously to let light down into there, but, oh, yeah, there's a skylight up there as well. But then some sort of like chicken wire window. It's just all a bit weird as well, isn't it? Very strange. I think we've almost done this floor. Like I said, a lot of the rooms are just like this. Hey, oh, where's that go? Does this go through to the chicken wire window? Yeah, it does. Like, what is the point of that? I don't really understand that at all. I thought that were a bone then. It's just one of these, isn't it? Looks a little bit like a tiny penis. Anyway. Ooh. Oh, I keep thinking these are doors, but they're shutters for windows. I thought it was a tiny little door to go with the tiny little penis. I'm gonna head up these stairs. There's weird noises out there, like like pretend ghost noises, but I think it's just cows or something, or sheep, some sort of animals. Oh God, these are wooden stairs. Oh yeah, I forgot about this door. I don't think we can go out here. I think it's locked up. And that's why this, this is on here. Because I reckon you can get out onto the roof. Through here. Let me have a look. Is there a padlock on it? Yeah, look. They've shut that off on purpose to stop people getting out onto the roof, I'm guessing. So, we better go back down again and probably get out of here. Now, the thing is, I sort of want to go wandering around outside, but knowing now he's outside, do I do it? Do I risk it? It's too dark not to have a torch on as well. So I can't really just walk around in the dark, otherwise I'll end up 
falling down an hole, down a well or something, knowing me. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out when we get outside. Just like I said, it just all feels a bit weird now. I definitely heard a burp. I haven't made that up in my head. Definitely, because then I heard bangs and noises as well. There were definitely somebody here. But the thing is, I've got to climb out of that window. I'm proper on edge now. Like ridiculously on edge. Right. Back at this grand entrance. I did sort of want to walk up there. I don't know how stable this is. Like, if I put my big fat weight on that, is it even going to hold? But yeah, amazing place. Absolutely amazing. Look at the work. work under there as well. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here quick. Look at it properly like this though. I know the quality is not as good when I zoom out like that, but it gives you a bit more of a view of the whole of the place. That's crazy, isn't it? Right, I've decided I'm only going to be here once, more than likely, in my lifetime. So why not have a look round properly? <gasps> Fucking help my torch. I've just been taking photos. <sighs> Jesus Christ, that shit me up. I've just been taking photos using the torches to light the front of the building up for the thumbnail. And I put the torches back in my bag and it just slid down inside and made a bang. But also I felt it rub against my back. So I thought somebody was touching me. I'd it was a bit weird, but yeah, we're all right. We're okay. We're not dead. So as I was saying, being all brave, looking down here, we're going to have a look round. So we were down, we sort of were down there, but there is no windows, is there? So we'll keep, we're going to brave it and go up near that camera as well. At the end of the day, what are they going to do? Shoot me, probably, to be fair, but we're not going to die, are we? Definitely not going to die. Right, this is that grand entrance leading into that amazing, amazing staircase. And look at the floor. That's my footprint, by the way. Before you pull yourself and think someone's been here, that's definitely mine. Because I can put the torch in here. And I'm definitely being quite silly walking past this camera. Because it's definitely on. 100%. I've also got to be careful because I know in certain spots it drops down. So I've got to keep an eye on the floor when I'm walking. Just look. There's bits. But that down there just drops away. You can't really tell from here. But I'm telling you, I'd drop about three or four foot, maybe more, if I went down there. Can I get down here? Even this is a bit dodgy, I don't know. I think we're all right down here. I'm gonna walk round, just to be on the safe side. You've told me to be safe, so I'm being safe. Ish. There's another camera there, look. So we've got that there. But that, I don't know if that's just a light, you know. And this one here with the red light on it is definitely the camera. I can actually see that with my eyes as well. Normally you can just see it shining up on this torch. But, sod it. Like I said, what's the worst that can happen? What's this here? Oh, is it big, is it big gates? Oh yeah, big old gates. Oh, it's like something out like of a woman in black, isn't it, this? It's all a bit spooky. Now the thing is, the thing is, that security guard must make his way round here. God, there's, there's buildings everywhere. I'm just gonna whiz round as quick as I can. I think I'm not gonna film any more outside. I'm just gonna look at the buildings because otherwise this video is gonna go on for about eight hours. Now this is another building opposite the main building. I've just looked inside and there's like full on trees growing inside it. So there's no point going in there. 
but I have a feeling there might be some other good buildings knocking about. I don't know. I've just got to be careful now. Now, this is that bit of building that we saw with the skylights, and then we looked out of those windows and saw it. Now, there's another camera there. I don't know what this is. I can't get inside it. But I reckon it might have been coal or something to start with. I don't know. It's got those weird side bits. But also, it looks like it's been used for like a bottle dump. Well, either that or it's some sort of weird grave, shriny thing. But I don't know. It looks like there's old bottles and stuff being shoved in there. Look at this building here. This is a weird looking thing, isn't it? I thought it was like maybe a coach house at first. But it sort of goes around a corner really weird. Now I've got to be careful in here. Because there's stuff falling from the ceiling. The stuff on the floor isn't very secure. I don't know if you've noticed, I've not got my Nike Max on today. I've got some Adidas. But I've also got the wire because we're down to 10% battery on this. So, I need to hurry up really, have a look round and get out of here. It's all a bit odd. don't really know what this building's for at all. Another big archway there, look. At least we get past the camera. Oh, actually, I don't know if I want to walk through there or not. in a minute well it is almost three o'clock in the morning so if he's eating something a bit weird going on you know i want to see what that is so yeah there's the main building there's that camera this is where we've just come out of there's archers all the way up here and then a weird bit at the end a little room there i'm gonna have a quick look in there before we go i don't know what this bit is ow I just got nettled and it hurt not normally bothered about nettles. I'm guessing this is one of the driveways in, look. You came down here and brought your carriage into this bit and that's what went in these buildings here. Maybe, that's my guess anyway. I'm not going round there because I need to get out of here really. I just want to have a look in this building and then we'll go. Yeah, once again, it's pretty much ruined in here, but look at that. Oh God, look at that. But let's quickly get over here. Look at the little mangly thing. We've got a big oven-y thing. Oh, do you reckon they did like washing stuff in there? Like cooked it underneath and then did that there? I don't really know. I don't know what that is in there. And then the stairs, but I don't really see any point going up the stairs because I, I just don't think it's worth the risk. I really don't. Right, let's get a look. Do you think it's the laundry, this look? Oh, it will be, aren't it, because of the mangle. So yeah, they done all the clothes in there, boiled them, and then finished them off in here. That's weird. Right, let's go. Look at that beam. Massive crack in that. This whole lock could come down any second. Let's get the feck out of here. Right, I'm gonna say goodbye now because I just need to get out of here quick, I think. I don't I don't like it. I don't like being out and exposed like this. And if I start filming shining torches and stuff like that, I'm probably gonna get caught. But how amazing has this building been? It is huge. Let me just show you one more time from the side. Bearing in mind, this is the side of the house. Look how high that is, and how far along that goes. And then if you think about how wide it is, it's a, it's a massive, massive house. Crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you for keeping me sane because I've been able to talk to you and I've not pulled my pants. And I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.